Okay, so we actually weren't gonna make a video on this specific location. It was just meant to be a pass through on the way to our next stop, but the place has just blown us away. It is so beautiful. It's got so much unique stuff that let us show you what we mean. So we left Kalispell, Montana on a Tuesday um, and we wanted to make our way towards Washington, specifically Mount Rainier area. Really we were just looking for a place to crash for a couple of days, get us through to the weekend so we can continue our drive. But we found that this place was worth more than a couple of days. So we're going to stay here a bit longer. Right now we are on a little hike to go tubing. So these are the two tubes that we picked up from Walmart. This is how big it is when it's folded up. Gabby is blowing up the other one, getting all excited. Each of these was $5. We bought a pump that's doing it without us having to breathe in it for $12 and a portable battery that we have, so which is doing all the work. So for $22, we will get to float in this beautiful water. So we just got done with our time in the water. It, it was, was so nice. Loved it was it. it was so relaxing. It's probably in the 80s right now. So getting into the water was a really nice time. Um, we are walking back to the city now. Um, this little area that we're at right now is within walking distance of the downtown area. Um, so it's really cool. There's a bunch of little coves where you can have like private beach time versus just like one big beach that's super slammed. So we had a nice little area where there was a few other people, but super awesome. And now off to the farmer's market. So all the beach areas were over here along these shores. There's a bunch of cliffs and over there is Coeur d'Alene. Just got back from an awesome, awesome dinner. That pizza was way too good. We're back, got the crew, and uh, Farmer's Burger was fun. It was a little small, but it, they do it Wednesday and Saturday, so probably Saturday's bigger. But um, I mean, just the cutest, just the cutest town. What a, what an awesome day. So we're gonna catch some rest and we'll do some exploring tomorrow. So one super nice perk about the boondocking spot that we are in is that we have this gorgeous hiking trail that's literally like our backyard. I really don't know how far it goes for. <laughs> We've typically walked this trail uh, in between calls when we have some free time and it's really nice because we can just let Lilo go and she finds all the best sticks. Um, but we have probably walked down, what do you think Brad did? We walked down this trail like a mile or so. Today is a bit of our rest day since we've had super jam-packed days in Coeur d'Alene. I just took a nap, so I'm not feeling it to go into town, but at least we can enjoy some nature.
unfortunately, this is our last day in Coeur d'Alene. So we are going into the city to get a little workout in, play some basketball. Woo! And we'll see from there, maybe just explore a little bit. It rains, so I feel, man, look at my cheeks. <laughs> but no, I feel cooked up, so I'm excited for the sun. She's bouncing around. Let's, Let's do go. It. Just got back to our site, getting ready to pack everything up as we are leaving Coeur d'Alene. So got to put the bike on the rack, uh, put some of our outdoor stuff away. But overall, I can't say enough. What an excellent, excellent stay this was. Way went above our expectations. Today was just seeing a little bit more of the area. I hope that we captured some of it on video because it is just so, so beautiful here. Um, we're already talking about how do we find a way to come back here. Maybe we want to sign up for an Ironman race next year, something like that, just to get back to the area. That's how much we liked it. If you guys like this video, make sure to stay tuned into next week. We'll be continuing west to go to Washington. We're going to go towards Mount Rainier, and we'll see what else we see along the way. Thanks, guys. Baby.